Hello everyone, welcome back to the forexball.com trade ideas. Today we will have idea on the pound versus New Zealand dollar. As you have noted, we have multiple ideas related to the New Zealand dollar. This is because it is getting extremely strong and perhaps we will see the final wave of this strength. Before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is purely for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. Quick run up through the two, two setups. Basically, we had New Zealand Swiss franc. This was a long term and still expecting this rally, which is uh, another 60 pips approximately. Euro New Zealand dollar still also expecting this move towards the target. You can see price is slowly approaching. And now we are moving up uh, to, to um, pound New Zealand dollar. Here is the target much larger than on the previous New Zealand dollar ideas. It's 289 pips. And this is because pound is also weak. Pound weakness plus New Zealand dollar strength could provide this great opportunity. Now let's uh, move on to the daily chart. First of all, we have applied two Fibonacci retracement levels. First is being to this wave to the upside. And if we look, actually there was no closing price above this price. There are multiple different charts, but overall there was no closure above this. And this means that um, the highest high is considered at this stage. This is personally my view and interpretation of this Fibonacci, uh, how to apply them. As we have applied this FIPS, 88.6% is at 1.9562. Now I have applied another Fibonacci raisement, corrective wave up. This is because on the four hour chart, we had a rejection of this price area. So that's why the Fibonacci was applied to this level. Now we have these two FIPS and they both correspond to this area near 19550. Now what we also can see is that there was a resistance, the, there was a support at this level, again support, and now it became the resistance. What is more important is the break below two exponential and simple moving average with a period of 200. There was a breakout suggesting further weakness. Then price corrected up, rejected the moving averages and produced lower low. So yet again, this support level became the resistance with a very clean bounce off it. Now let's move on to the forward chart. We were jumping back and forth. So here we have applied this downtrend trend line, correct? And we had this rejection at this stage. Also, we have 200 simple moving average, price attempted to break, failed to do so, and then attempted yet again to break and failed to close above this spike, meaning that the price still remains below the moving average. If we look also at these FIPS that we have applied, there are two levels, 161.8 and 261.8. 61.8 has been broken and it has been acting as a resistance. So here we had the rejection of this 161.8 FIPS, which means that the trend can get quite bearish in the short term. So quite a fast rally to the downside. But at the same time, we will need to watch half the move and fixing the profits on the halfway towards the target and basically closing half of the position and moving stop loss to the break even. So this approach will uh, really reduce the risk and you know, will make profits more consistent. In regards to the entry point, obviously the best would be to look for 198.90 area, basically as some sort of pullback. If we move to five minute chart, just to see where price might get, this is, from what it seems, it can be towards the moving average, either on one minute, which is right now, or five minutes. So there could be some pullback towards this area once again, and this would be ideal entry, basically near 1.99. And this, we will wait for this probably correction and see how it goes, but overall, 
the we can see also this breakout on the one hour chart moving average breakout and if one hour candle will close below this low it means that the new lower low has been produced and it could also be treated as an entry signal in regards to the stop loss obviously it must be above this high which is a very strong psychological level at 2.000 and just above this should be enough if price will reverse it will invalidate this idea because this this level shouldn't shouldn't be broken if there is a downtrend continuation so that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video for today we will talk to you maybe tomorrow um, I, I hope so if we see some nice trade idea. So I wish you a profitable trading and don't forget to subscribe and click the like button. See you soon.